I will be asking six questions about how lockdown is for our guest. Today's guest is Samantha Clark. Sam, can you say a little bit about yourself, please? Okay. Um, Hi, Danielle. I am uh, Sam Clark. I am talking to you from Wakefield in West Yorkshire, which is where I live. Uh, And um, my job in my work life, I work for Lentisbury England. And Lentisbury England is a membership organisation that brings together people with Lentisbury's family members and organisations. So it's very nice to be talking to you Thank from you. Brighton and Hope Speaker, yeah. Danielle. Yeah. So the first question is, what have you liked about being in lockdown? Okay. Um, so I think what I've liked um, on, a, on a kind of personal level is normally my job involves getting up really early at least twice a week and getting on a train at seven o'clock in the morning. And I haven't done any of that. And that is amazing. And I don't know if I'll ever be able to go back to the 618 train to Birmingham or Bristol or something. You know, I, so that's been quite nice. I think I'm really lucky. I'm really aware of how lucky I am that I have a comfortable and safe home. That's been just gorgeous. Um, The other thing I've liked about um, being at home is my neighbours are um, kind and good people. So, uh, particularly at the beginning of lockdown but through lockdown people have kept baking for each other wow so you might get a text message that says there's cinnamon buns on your doorstep you're like raw brilliant so that's been really nice um and at work what has been amazing and brilliant and just the happiest thing i get to be part of is how um self-advocacy and family and community groups have helped each other and supported people and come together and made brilliant stuff happen it's been great yeah yeah so so what have haven't you liked about being in lockdown okay so what i haven't liked personally is uh is is how much um i've also missed the traveling so i don't miss the 618 train (laughs) but i miss being with people yeah and even though I get to Zoom and do this and talk to you, and it's really lovely to talk to you because how often do I get to Brighton from Yorkshire? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's brilliant. But I miss just the different way you can be when you get to be in a room together yeah. and chat. So I miss that. Um, what else I haven't liked is um, we've all had to change so much so fast. That's been a bit hard yeah um and um and i've been really worried and uh concerned and vexed about people i'm kind of worried that we're all forgetting about or if some people are getting forgotten and so i know loads and loads of people have worked really hard to support each other to do the right thing but what is hard is you kind of worry about who hasn't coped or hasn't had anybody to help them out really yeah so yeah yeah, they're some of the more difficult things, I yeah, think. Yeah, really tough. Yeah. Have you learnt any new skills while being in lockdown? <laughs> well, at the very beginning of lockdown, I learnt to darn. Oh, wow. So I found a hole in a jumper and I sent a message. So two people I know are both um, really big knitters and darners and they crochet and, you know, stuff yeah. I am just absolutely never even managed to crack at all yeah so I sent them a message that said I found a hole in the jumper do you think I could learn to darn and they sent me between them a darning needle and thread and like wool stuff just enough for me to do this hole so um so they also sent me YouTube videos to help me learn and I learned to darn and darn a hole never thought I would do wow yeah I know I know um, so that was that's really cool, and I can now darn, and I've darned even a pair of socks since, wow. and I feel very pleased. I know Yay. it's really bad darning, by the way. It's not neat or pretty, <laughs> but you know. Yeah. Um, so I feel pleased about that, and um, and and then at work, I've learned loads about having online meetings. Yeah. Like we all have, I think. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
is there any advice you would give someone in lockdown being in lockdown so i think there were two things that um at the beginning of lockdown that i heard other people say that i would pass on um one of them was um you're going to be at home a lot more so clean more <laughs> And actually, that has really helped me, like, just keeping the house or the bits of the house that matter to me, kind of organised and cleaned, have made it feel less stressful. I think if you don't care, then just ignore it. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. don't don't let it get on top of you, is guess, I guess what I realised. And um, the other thing that um, I heard somebody, it was somebody from Dorset People First that talked about this, was Dorset People First have a brilliant coping calendar. So they have like a, a thing to do each day to help yourself um, kind of keep going and feel good. Um, one of which is give yourself a hug. And oh. when the person on a Zoom meeting with 30 of us read that out, half the, I watched half of us do that. I'll give yourself a hug. Um, but I think um, thinking about some of those things on that coping calendar about, you know, look after yourself, do the stuff that helps you yeah um and and that would be my thing is um yeah and that was really brilliant advice so and so my bit of advice would be go find dorset people first coping calendar and if you can't find it online i can send you the link Thank it's you. great yeah sounds great uh what's the first thing you're going to do when it's all over <gasps> when it's all over well i don't know i'll tell you what i'm missing the most swimming yeah so hard to believe, but the only real exercise that I've ever um, enjoyed in my life is swimming. And I cannot wait for it to be safe to go swimming. Yeah. I just, you know, and in fact, I have a friend who um, who lives in Hove, actually, who's going in the sea this Wednesday, apparently. Wow. And I am so jealous. Though. I've got another friend who lives up in the northeast in South Shields, and she's been swimming in the sea with a wetsuit on for a couple of months i just i miss swimming so yeah, yeah that's my thing let's go oh. swimming <laughs> is there anything you were going to do differently once lockdown is all over um i think yeah i think one of the things um definitely that i've learned is that um we we can make we shouldn't underestimate people so one of the things I want to do differently is make sure we put more effort into making it possible for everybody to have choices about whether they do stuff online or not. Yeah. So um, definitely think that for me personally, like, you know, just work harder, try a bit harder to make sure that people at least have that choice. But I also don't want it to be the only choice. I don't want people for whom it really doesn't work to not get the chance to do stuff so we've got to get balance I guess but after lockdown we go back to a balance not all of one or all of the other yeah. you know because um, I know it doesn't work for everybody but it can be brilliant yeah right that was the last question you'll be happy to know <laughs> <laughs> fantastic thank you thank it's you. been really lovely to talk yeah. to you yeah, thank you for coming to speak with Danielle, Sam. And thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>